Hello everyone, my name is Ksenia and I'm an application specialist in Biovitrum company. We are working in the field of pathology for more than 15 years and during that time we accumulated some knowledge and experience in this area. So we decided to make a series of videos in which my colleagues and I will discuss histological process, its basics, some theory and also interesting facts and some tricks and tips to make it easier. So if you are interested, keep watching. Today we will discuss paraffin, a substance which is essential for histological process at the stages of tissue processing and embedding. Nowadays, formalin fixed and paraffin embedded tissue is the golden standard in histology. But what do we know about paraffin? What is the difference between paraffins with different melting points? What does this temperature mean? And how can it influence the result of the study? Paraffin is a white or colorless solid substance derivable from petroleum or coal. It consists of a mixture of hydrocarbon molecules containing from 18 to 35 carbon atoms. The name paraffin can be translated from Latin as lacking reactivity. And it's true, as it does not react with the majority of chemical reagents, is insoluble in water and soluble only in ether, benzene and xylene. In pathology labs, Paraffin is used to impregnate tissue before sectioning thin samples. The water is removed from the tissue through ascending strands of alcohol. Then the tissue is cleared in an organic solvent such as xylene. Then it is put in paraffin wax for a number of hours and then set in a mold to cool and solidify. Thin sections are cut then on a microtome. Earlier the paraffin was prepared for embedding in the lab. But nowadays, the majority of pathology labs apply ready-to-use embedded mediums. They are homogeneous and granulated paraffin, so you just have to melt it in an embedding station. Manufacturers usually mark their embedding mediums with the paraffin melting point. The melting point is determined by the main component of the mixture. There are different methods to measure the melting point. For example, a cooling curve, a congealing point, or a drop melting point. Results may differ depending on the method used. It is important to understand that different manufacturers use different methods to measure the melting point. So if you want to compare embedding mediums from different companies, you have to pay attention on what method was used. To compare the properties of different paraffins, we can consider them as the paraffin with the higher melting point and with the lower melting point. The lower is the melting point of embedding medium, the less the tissue is drying up during processing and embedding, so it is usually used for delicate tissues. Processing is the stage on which biomolecules, proteins and nuclear acids can be damaged, so if you plan any molecular studies afterwards, it is better to use the paraffin with a low melting point. The paraffin with a higher melting point is usually used for harder tissues. The higher is the melting point of the paraffin, the easier it is to cut thin sections on a microtome at higher temperatures, for example in warm countries during the summer times, or if it's just quite warm in your lab. Sometimes the paraffin with the lower melting point is used for processing and with the higher melting point for embedding. If you use the paraffin with the lower melting point, you just have to cool it better on the cooling plate before sectioning thin samples. Not only the melting point influence on the properties of embedding medium, it also depends on the composition of a mixture and on what additives were added. We will discuss them in our next video. If you like this video, press like. If you have any questions or something to add to this topic, write in the comments. Subscribe not to miss our new videos. Thank you. See you soon.